YouTubers all over the world. You already know it's your boy at Testify to the Music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21 bringing you another segment of Testify Talk. And today's Testify Talks is going to get a little different. Now, usually I have these big, broad, hot-button topics that I usually like to bring up or I like to talk about certain things that go on within the church community or other little things that you know pop up in the news or that I see going on. But today, I'm actually going to be focusing on a person. And if you follow me on my social media, then you saw I posted a couple of days ago that I was going to be posting a video about a particular personality that has made his claim on Musical.ly and on YouTube. So if you don't know exactly who I'm talking about, well, I'm talking about Mr. Jacob Sartorius. And today, I just want to simply talk about his rise to fame and the controversy that surrounded him and hopefully address the question of why he's getting so much hate. Stay tuned. Okay, so getting right into it. Well, yeah, like I said in my intro, we're going to be talking about Jacob Sartorius today. And again, I just want to spotlight and talk about his rise to fame and why there is so much hate surrounding this guy. Now, in case you are not familiar with who he is, um, he's a singer and internet personality, um, and he got his uh, rise to fame posting lip syncing videos on Musical.ly, uh, which is spelled uh, musical.ly, and he pretty much kept posting videos, and eventually um, he amassed a, a huge, a huge following of fans, and eventually released his, his first single, which actually debuted pretty high i gotta say it came in at number 90 on the u.s billboard hot 100 and 81 on the canadian hot 100 so uh, mad props to him and now he's released his latest single hit or miss which debuted even higher than this one which is again it's his highest one to date and i actually you know saw a video that someone posted and it was a a hate video against jacob sartorius and they were just talking about why they you know the, the hate that he gets and everything and so i wanted to check this guy out for myself because a lot of people have seemed to be sending a lot of hate and negativity his way so i went and checked out some of his stuff sweatshirt was okay i like hit or miss more than anything i liked it so much that i wanted to sit there and remix it i had been writing lyrics for a minute now but i decided not to do it but a hit or miss, I actually liked that one. I actually dig it. I like the sound of it and everything. And so I went and scrolled through his comment section just to see what, you know, his fans were saying. And there was a lot of hate comments in there, like a lot of very vulgar hate comments toward this guy. This I haven't seen this much hate towards a person since Justin Bieber first debuted with one time. And that dislike button was massively pushed. He had more likes than he did dislikes, but barely, barely. And so I was like, why does everyone hate this guy so much? And so I think I kind of got a reason why people hate him so much. And so I'm simply just going to talk about it and use some examples of things that have happened like this in prior years. So I think one of the reasons that Jacob gets so much hate that he does is because he's 13 years old and he sounds like a little kid. But he's talking about adult type things and talking about girls and school and making friends and all this other little stuff that, you know, that most teeny bopper singers usually start out as. And with that, when you put your music out there, you open yourself up for tons of hate and scrutiny. Believe me, I know that for a fact because I have a lot of people tell me they think my raps are whack. I've had people send me all kinds of threats. I've had people even, like, stalk me. And I've even had people, like, again, send me all types of negativity because they didn't like what I stand for or who I stand for in my music. And so I listen to these songs, and I'm just kind of like, okay, well, I get it. You know, the whole auto-tune debate. And, again, I've done a video about this. I actually did a review uh, it was a, on my Testify review segment. I reviewed Ladarius Rembert's song All Out, and I went in detail about what auto-tune is and how it can make a song better, but what it's exactly used for. I'll make sure I leave that in the description below 
so you can go check that video out so you can get a um a little bit of an insight into what auto-tune really is if you don't know what it is because it's more than just a robot sounding effect there's more to it than that and so a lot of people in this comment section were saying oh we got another 13 year old with this teeny bopper auto-tune on you know make his voice sound real high-pitched and whatnot and people are just hating on him and so one of the examples I want to use, and, and I'm, again, I'm not trying to compare him, but I'm going to use the Justin Bieber scenario here. And again, I'm not comparing Jacob Sartorius to Justin Bieber. I'm not saying their music is similar. I'm not saying their fan base is similar. I'm just saying they have similar situations as to how they got their music start. Now, mostly everybody knows how Justin Bieber got his start, but in case you don't, I'm going to sum it up in just a few short sentences. He was a young kid around the age of 11, 12 years old. He posted videos of him singing to YouTube. He was then discovered by Scooter Braun. Uh, Scooter flew him out, him and his mother, um, Patty Millette, took them out to Atlanta, you know, chatted up with them and told him that he thinks his son got a real talent. So then he took him to Usher. Usher loved his sound. And then Usher and Scooter took him there to L.A. Reed. L.A. Reed liked what he had, and boom, he was signed to Island Def Jam Records. And that's when he put out his first song, One Time. And I just love One Time. I absolutely love One Time. I'll tell anybody, I'm a huge Justin Bieber fan, and I'm not afraid to say that. And so you have similar situation here with Jacob where he did the same thing. He used some form of social media. In this case, it was the, the musical.ly app. He posted lip syncing videos and then he started posting Vine videos as well. Eventually, you know, he was discovered and he went to the studio and recorded his first song, Sweatshirt, and it got a massive buzz around it. After that, he got signed to a group named T3 Media and then he released a song, Hit or Miss. And Hit or Miss could kind of be compared to one time because they're both up tempo. They're both singing about girls for the most part. But hit or miss is more so talking about when you're a kid, there's lots of time for fun. But then when you, as you get older, you know, there's not much more time for kitty stuff. And he's pretty much saying it's a hit or miss. While in one time, he was talking to this girl and telling her, girl, you know, I'm going to tell you one time that I love you, that I want to be all about you, that I want you to be my girl. So here we have two internet personalities who both kind of somewhat got their start the same way, except one was actually posting singing videos to YouTube. The other one was posting lip syncing videos and also Vine videos. And so that's how he got discovered and got his start. And I look now at one time because one of our students today was watching it. And that video still has over a million up on you know, up in the almost close to the two million was worth of dislikes, and the comment section looked exactly the same. Lots of hate, lots of vulgar language, lots of negativity, lots of death threats, all that good stuff. Now, of course, we all know Justin Bieber is no longer 13 years old. He's an adult. He's a grown man now. So, of course, he has a new, more mature sound, and he has a new, more mature fan base, and he learned to deal with it in rather strange ways. So, of course, Jacob, he himself is still 13 and is having to deal with this hate. And so I'm just going to pose the question to you all who are watching this video. And so if you don't like him, Jacob Sartorius, I understand you're going to thumb my video down. I can't stop you from doing that. I can't. But I just want to simply ask you, if you've made it this far in the video, let me ask you, why do you hate Jacob so much? I mean, I know I heard about the story about him apparently private messaging somebody and you know saying some things but again you know the media and the paparazzi tend to take stories and blow it up bigger than what it is so you need to have all the details behind that and so i'm not going to speak too much on that because i don't know all the details about it so i can't speak about that but i just want to know why do you hate the kid so much i mean he's just 13 year old trying to live his dream and he probably just has a dream of being a musician he probably wants to get his voice heard all around the world and he wants to share his creativity with people same with Justin Bieber Justin Bieber just wanted to get his voice out there he just wanted to have fun and essentially get his message out there to people 
He didn't care necessarily about being famous. He didn't necessarily care about being this big, well-known pop star. He was just out there having fun and doing it for the fun. And so that's what I see Jacob Sartorius here doing. He's doing the same thing. He's just trying to have fun and live life with his friends. He's just trying to make good, catchy music, but he gets a lot of hate for it. And so, again, I don't see why he gets a lot of hate. Well, I take that back. I know why he gets a lot of hate. But that doesn't ever make it wrong. But there and again, that's just my opinion. And I've already dropped a video last week talking about opinions. And again, your opinion matters. Your opinion matters. No matter what anyone else says, this is just my thoughts and opinions. I don't think he necessarily deserves all the hate and criticism that he gets. He hasn't deserved it. And all he did was just put out songs. Yeah, like I said, if you don't like the song, that's fine. But you don't have to send the kid death threats. And tell him that if he doesn't get off Facebook, you're going to rape him and come to his house and murder his family. That's just kind of taking it a little bit too far. Way too far. I get if you didn't like the song, but just thumb down the video and move on with your life. And unsubscribe from his channel. If you don't like his music, why are you subscribed to his channel? Again, I think what we have here is a lot of bandwagon haters. They see other people in the comment section hating on him. So they say, hey, well, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and say I hate him too just because I see someone else doing it. But then you also have those in the comment section who legitimately don't like his music and legitimately don't like him. For what reason? I don't know. But hey, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think of this kid? Have you heard his song, Sweatshirt? Have you heard his song, Hit or Miss? Have you checked out any of his Vine videos? Let me know down in the comment section below. And what do you think about all the death threats and hate that this kid is getting? I'm curious to know, and I want to spark up a conversation with you all in the comment section. Thank you all so much to you who stuck it all the way through to this video. I have another Testify Talks coming out again tomorrow. But this is just something that had been on my mind for about a week or so now. And I just kind of wanted to share my opinion on this kid. And if you want to give the kid a chance, check it out. I'll make sure I have a link in the description so you can go check out his YouTube channel and get an opinion for yourself on what do you think of this kid. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Again, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a blessed evening. And as I always say, I'm testified to the music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, saying peace. Oh!